I think this symposium was a huge success. I had a lot of fun. All the speakers from fields that I don't know anything about explained their research in a way that made a lot of sense to me and that it was really, it was really easy for me to understand and be able to ask questions. This symposium was incredible to attend. I really enjoy getting to hear other people's research and it was so nice to have it be so accessible and broken down in a way that like, I don't study water on Mars, but someone could break it down to me about why that was important and how she goes about her research. The fact that we're trying to bridge that gap by developing a symposia like this is really, really important and fantastic. And I thought that this symposium was a great leap in that direction. Because if we're doing this and we're not able to tell other people, what's the point of doing it? And what that allows is for interdisciplinary collaborations, and it's really the fundamental basis of innovation. Um, I think the activity piece of the symposium is super helpful. For example, learning to convey your research or your science at like a five-year-old level is really good. <laughs> The activities were a lot of fun. So this activity is called the Time Traveler. Playing a time traveler, going back in time, and trying to explain something that we take for granted to people who have never seen anything like it before. What we do is inherently kind of full of jargon and difficult to explain, so we need to uh, learn how to get better at explaining what we do to a public that will be interested in our results eventually. Yeah, oh my gosh, I would like go to every single one that they have. <laughs> I love it, I think it's awesome. So I'm excited to see all these amazing young women who are passionate about science and passionate about sharing their stories and they're gonna go out and change the world and that's super exciting to me. Thank you. Thank you.